So are the certificates that you get with online courses worth the paper or pixels that they're written on? Imagine you're in a job interview and you get asked this question. Why should we employ you? And you reply with this. Well, I've, um, I've completed this uh, on online course. It's not particularly impressive and it's probably not going to get you a job. Now don't get me wrong, I think online courses are great and they're a really good way of not having to spend too much money on learning the basics that you need to learn. But on their own, they're not going to get you a job. And the reason I'm making this video about this subject is when people contact me uh, for course recommendations and ask me you know, to give my opinion on a particular course, one of the things they often state is how, it is how important it is for them that it has an online certificate. But I just don't really think that that is necessary because that certificate really isn't going to get you what you hope it's going to get you. What will get you the job is how you apply the knowledge that you've learned on the course to other things, to projects that you do yourself, to projects that you've done for other people. And I don't just mean like the Kaggle Titanic project, I mean something much more bespoke than that. So when that question is asked, maybe you could answer it like this. Well, I didn't really have any experience. So after completing a few online courses and learning how to code in Python and learning the basics of data analysis and data science, I started contributing to open source projects in Python mainly. Or like this. I was new to working with data and I didn't really have any projects of my own that I could work on. So I contacted a couple of charities and asked them whether I could help them out. And one of the charities that I contacted didn't have the resources to hire anyone to work with data. Uh, so they were really pleased to hear from me. You learn by doing. And that's why I think today's sponsor Brilliant is a great choice for anybody that wants to learn programming. Brilliant is an interactive online learning platform that focuses on teaching STEM topics interactively. And it's that interactivity that really helps you to learn. Every topic that Brilliant covers is followed by an interactive puzzle that you have to solve before moving on. The puzzles are designed to ensure that solving them really enhances your understanding of the topic. Brilliant covers an enormous range of different subjects like computer science and maths and physics and you can learn a huge amount just using it for 10 minutes a day. That tends to be how I use it. If there's a topic I'm feeling a bit rusty on or something I haven't covered before, I can go onto the Brilliant app and get learning straight away. It's so much more engaging and fun solving interactive puzzles than just reading about topics. There's a link in the description. You can start for free and the first 200 people to sign up will get 20% off Brilliant's annual premium subscription. I suppose what I'm trying to say is that a certificate for an online course will show and demonstrate that you have covered certain topics, but a potential employer wants to know more than that. They want to know whether you can formulate questions that can be answered by the data that they have, whether you have the technical skills to take the data that they're giving you and combine it with other data to get that little bit more insight. They want to know that you're gonna be able to problem solve and save them money essentially, giving you the data that they have. And they need to see evidence of that. So they need to see evidence of work that you've done that demonstrates that you have those skills. And just completing an online course isn't really enough to do that. So next time you're choosing an online course, don't get too worried about whether it has a certificate. It's much more important that it covers the topics that you think it needs to cover in a way that you can learn well and understand, but that's really the beginning. You then need to go on and do independent work that will demonstrate that you have those skills. And the best way of doing that and showing potential employers that you do is to build up a portfolio of projects on your GitHub account. So that then sparks another question. What about certificates that have a bit more perceived value than ones for online courses? What about master's degrees or bachelor's degrees in data science and similar subjects? They do usually have a greater value. They show a, a greater commitment on behalf of the student in terms of time and money, and perhaps a more rigorous education. But they will only get you so far and you will still need to demonstrate all of the things that I mentioned previously. 
If you go to an absolute top institution, one of the best institutions in the world, you might find that potential employers are more willing to take a risk on you because the really prestigious universities tend to be the most selective and the employer can take the view that if you've been through that selection process and done well and got through it, you're more likely to be a better candidate. But it's not the case that only the people that go to the top institutions with the best degrees will get data jobs. This is a job that you can get by self-studying, but you do need to demonstrate those skills. And just taking part and completing an online course is not gonna be enough.